Hello guys, in this video let's take a look at an app developed by a super SU developer. Uh, the, it's the same developer who developed super SU. Without him it would have been very tough to root our devices the, that easily. So let's take a look at an app which is developed by him. And as you know in Lollipop, as this phone is running Cyanogen Mod 12, in Lollipop the multitasking tray looks like this. As you can see this is the multitasking tray. And if you want to swipe any application then you have to do this and wipe all the applications. But Fortunately, if you are running any custom ROM like Cyanogen Mod 12, I am running Cyanogen Mod 12 right now. You can use this button over here and swipe all applications. But sometimes you do not want uh, this long list because some applications like messaging application does not eat any RAM in the background and still it shows in the multitasking tray. As you can see, if we hit back button and let's open music player app too. And the messaging application is shown in the multitasking tray. But whereas it is not eating any amount of RAM in the background. So it's quite frustrating because sometimes I need the multitasking tray because I do not swipe the applications. Like if I am using 2-3 apps at the same time then I cannot use this feature. And if the list is very long like all the applications are shown in this multitasking tray then it's quite tough and irritating to swipe the applications which we do not want. So the application named recently aims towards it. Like if we just open recently app, I'll give the link of this app in the description below. So don't forget to check that out. And this application works only on Lollipop as of now. And it won't work on KitKat obviously. But yeah, it works on Lollipop. If you have custom ROMs or if you have AOSP based ROM which is rooted, then you can use this application. For that simply grant root permissions to this application and make sure that this button over here is enabled. So let's get into the features of this app. And the first thing I do in this app is that select age limit as running apps only. Select this and after this you will see that if I open messaging application, hit the back button, then the messaging application is not eating any RAM in the background. So it won't be shown in the multitasking tray as you can see. If I open chrome application, hit the back button and if I open this, there is no tab because chrome is not running in the background. Now let's open any other application, let's open facebook application and if I open this application, and hit the back button and if I go into multitasking tray as you can see over here Facebook is running in the background so that's why Facebook is shown in the multitasking tray and as, as you saw earlier too if I messaging app is not shown in this because the messaging app is not running in the background and this is very useful because uh, sometimes unnecessary apps are shown over here which are not at all running in the background so thumbs up for this application so let's see some other features too and the entry limit is the maximum number of apps listed actually running apps are listed regardless of this setting like if you select running apps only setting then all the running apps will be shown regardless of this setting like even if you select 17 if the running apps are 20 then all the 20 apps will be shown and i prefer using launch on boot and one of the most important things about this application is that you get freeload. Freeload that enables the pro features without actually purchasing the pro version. That's quite nice of the developer to give this feature in the free version only. So thumbs up for that too once again. And that's pretty much it for the app. So obviously one of the most important question is that is this a task killer? Obviously this is not a task killer. No tasks are killed by recently by default. It only removes entries from the recent list. Like if the app is running in the running in the background then only it is shown over there it does not kill that app and task killing can ultimately be bad for performance and battery life so be sure to know what you are doing and why you are doing this so yeah that's completely suggested and this does not use any resources and there are no wake locks at all i personally did not face any wake lock and battery impact was uh, near to none actually they, it was 0% so yeah that's pretty much it for this app and this app is completely amazing so if you are having lollipop on your phone then do not forget to check this app and try this out because i completely suggest this app and it surely increases the productivity so yeah this is it for this video guys thank you for watching don't forget to hit the like button if you like this video and if you want more such productivity videos then don't forget to comment in the comment section below and don't forget to hit that subscribe button thank you guys thank you for watching